Okay, so I'm doing a reaction where I have 77 grams of glucose, and I'm fermenting that glucose to form carbon dioxide and ethanol. And I actually do the experiment and I get 23.4 grams of ethanol. Ethanol is the CH3CH2OH. So I take 77 grams of glucose, allow it to react, and form 23.4 grams of ethanol. And I want to know, was that a good reaction? What was the percent yield? Well, the first thing I need to know is, well, what was the theoretical yield? What is what is the maximum I could have made from that 77 grams of glucose according to the balanced chemical equation given? So this balanced chemical equation tells me that one mole of glucose, one mole of C6H12O6, can ferment and react to form two moles of ethanol and two moles of carbon dioxide. The theoretical yield would be, well, the maximum amount of ethanol that could be produced. And in order to calculate this, you'd first have to have your balanced chemical equation. We have that. And you would also need the molar masses for each of the compounds in question. So we're going to need the molar mass of glucose and the molar mass of ethanol. Then we can use our math to calculate that theoretical yield. Once we have the theoretical yield, we can get the percent yield. The percent yield is just what you actually got, which is 23.4 grams, divided by what you calculated, given the balanced equation, given the molar masses of each compound. You multiply that by 100 and you get the percent yield. So let's work on A. Let's get the theoretical yield. So to calculate the theoretical yield, you're going to start with your 77 grams of glucose. Then you're going to use the molar mass of glucose to convert from grams to moles. We know that 180.18 grams is one mole, so you have to figure out, well, how many moles do you have if you have 77 grams? All you do here is just take the grams divided by 180.18 and you're going to get the moles. I'll write this out in a second, but all you have to do is just know that you calculated the correct molar mass. The molar mass tells you how many grams are in one mole. Remember that the G on grams goes with the number. Now that we have moles of glucose, estimating quickly about half of a mole of glucose, now we can use the balanced chemical equation that says one mole of glucose will yield two moles of ethanol if the reaction completely goes to completion. Get the maximum amount that you th theoretically could have gotten. Then we know that one mole gives me two moles of ethanol. So once we have the answer for moles of glucose, we can use the moles of ethanol and the moles of glucose from the balanced chemical equation to convert to moles of ethanol. Once we have the moles of ethanol, simply use the molar mass of ethanol to get grams of ethanol. That's what we're needing because the original problem asked us what's the theoretical yield in grams because our actual yield is 23.4. So the answer to this question is going to tell us what is the most amount we could have made. We know what we actually made. We made 23.4 grams of ethanol. I want to know what's the most that I could have made. So this is our plan. We're going to take grams of glucose, get it to moles of glucose, moles of ethanol, and then grams. We have to do this because the balanced equation gives us moles of one substance to moles of one substance. So I have 77.0 grams of C6H12O6. And I don't want grams of glucose anymore, so I'm going to put that in the denominator. I do want moles of glucose because I know the molar mass, and I know that molar mass right here is going to tell me that there are 180.18 grams of glucose in every one mole of glucose. So 77 divided by 180.18, and 
and now I'll have the answer for moles of glucose. Notice that my grams have canceled and now I have moles of glucose. Now, I don't want moles of glucose and I do want moles of the product that we're wanting the question of what is our theoretical yield of ethanol. So I want to get to that answer in grams. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is use what I know. Well, what do I know? I know from the balanced chemical equation I can get from moles of glucose to moles of ethanol. And I know that one mole of glucose gives me two moles of ethanol. That was again from this balanced chemical equation. One mole of glucose gives two moles of ethanol. So I take the number that I have and multiply by two and now I'll have the answer to moles of ethanol. We want grams of ethanol because that's what the problem asked. The problem asked us what is the theoretical in in grams, yield in grams. If it asks for what's the theoretical yield in moles, you're done. You would have the answer in moles of ethanol, but here we want it in grams of ethanol, so we're going to now need to use our molar mass. We don't want moles of ethanol. We do want grams of ethanol. So we go back to the molar mass. Molar mass of ethanol is 46.08 grams for every one mole. Remember the number goes with the grams, canceling the mole. And we're going to have our answer, 77 divided by 180 times 2 times 46.08. And I get the answer, 39.4 grams of ethanol. Now this is the theoretical yield. This is the maximum amount that we could produce, that's our question mark at the beginning, from 77 grams of glucose. So we have 77 grams of glucose, divide by the molar mass of the glucose, multiply two moles of ethanol for every one mole of glucose, and then multiply by the molar mass of the ethanol, and we get our theoretical yield. That theoretical yield, that's the maximum amount that we possibly could have gotten. So now that we've calculated the theoretical yield, we can actually solve the real problem, which is what's the percent yield? The percent yield, remember, is simply the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100%. So we have our actual yield was 23.4. That's what we actually got in the experiment and we divide that by what we calculated as the maximum amount we could have actually gotten, multiply by 100, and we get our percent yield, 59.4%.